All right, guys, welcome into the screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, which is going to take you to my uh, Google Calendar. You're seeing behind the scenes here because I want to be able to go over with you the power of Google Calendar and also some of the integrations that you guys can start using for your cleaning business, okay? So on my calendar here, this is actually my main calendar. Uh, some key things I'm going to cover today, I have written down so I don't miss any key points. And if you have some notes or you have like a notepad on iPad or something like that, get ready, pen and paper if you can, and take some notes because what I'm about to go over today is really going to help you utilize, you know, what nowadays is, is very important, which is technology. Now we have AIs and stuff like that, which is for another day, another video. But here's one huge benefit of Google Calendar of why having it is very, very important. Your team can actually all download uh, Google Calendar from their phone and actually use it while they're on site at home or even at the office. Wherever they're at, they're able to actually go onto their own calendar, which all they do is log into their Google or Gmail account, which then boom, this whole calendar is created for them. So this whole calendar here that I'm showing you in front of uh, the screen, it's my personal calendar that I use day to day. Um, you can see different colors on here. You can see different meeting titles. Um, and the ultimate goal of this is to actually also organize, uh, which I'll talk a little bit later down the line. To be honest with you, you can have everybody on one main calendar for your business as well, right? I'm not going to go too in depth of that. That's more specific. Maybe in the future, I can create a separate video going over how to set up like a team calendar where uh, your calendar integrated with all of your employees. But it's typically just creating a new calendar, which is right here, and then inviting your team members using their Gmail email to the calendar, uh, which then you can go ahead and, and, and actually get them to see the calendar that you're seeing, plus the rest of your team. Number two, you're actually able to uh, send out email and text reminders. Well, like for example, let me just go ahead and put Wednesday at 11 a.m. here. Uh, when I click on it, it gives me the option to actually put the title. Is it an event? Is it a task or is it an appointment schedule, right? This is actually pretty new. I've not dabbled into it uh, just yet, so I'm not going to touch it today, but it's definitely something that I need to look into and then see if it benefits you guys. Appointment schedule sounds pretty beneficial if you ask me, especially for walkthroughs, but I just recommend just using event here and then task. It's more like miscellaneous stuff that you just want to put on your calendar. It allows you to check it off if you're done, right? But let's go to event, right? You get to put the title. So in this case, let's just say maybe YouTube video. Okay. That's the title. And what next? You actually get to choose the date. So the date can be choose right here. You click on this, whatever date you want to set it to, whatever time. Um, you can even go in depth and actually like do weekly on Wednesday. Like if you start doing, you know, weekly meetings with your team, what you can actually do is do weekly on Wednesday. I mean, on the calendar, uh, endless it never ends every Wednesday at this specific time, there's a team meeting with you and your team, right? Um, and I'll go into a little bit about how you add them as a guest so they continue getting emails. But that's how you do the date, the time, and even going into you know how frequent you want this. Um, if it's not one time, how frequent do you want it to uh, repeat? Um, the second thing, add guests. This is where you actually get to add in, uh, let's just say I'm gonna add Eric, which is our creative manager here. So what this means is Eric is actually gonna get a notification that on this date, this time, he's invited to uh, being part of make a YouTube video, right? Um, and for example, you guys, how you can, can utilize this is like, for example, if you have a walkthrough coming up with a prospect, the easiest thing you could do is create a Google uh, Calendar invite, which is this, put walkthrough with the person's name, the time and date, and then add them using their email, uh, which then they'll get an invite. If they don't have Google Calendar, guys, they're actually going to get what I'm going to go over next, which are email reminders, which is perfect, especially if people are busy. I'm going to go ahead and add, add uh, Eric here. What next, right? Add Google Meet video conference. This is if you're doing a video conference, like for example, one, one of my huge recommendations is, you know, people do in-person or via Zoom or Google Meet proposal meetings. If you can't do it in person, you know, have it over Google Meet or via Zoom, which is where this comes into play. Uh, but here's the ad location, right? So for example, if you're doing a physical walkthrough and you're sending somebody an invite here, then add in the specific location of where you're meeting them. So when you're on the phone and you're not on your computer, you just pull up your phone click on that invite and then boom, it comes up the location, you click on it and then it'll bring you directly into Google Maps uh, for you to actually get directions to go there. Pretty cool, right? 
um, add descriptions and attachments. This is a great place for you to leave notes. It's a great place for me to tell Eric, who's invited to this meeting link that I cre I'm creating here, what I'm doing on the meeting. So Eric can read and have a little bit of a description of what's coming up next on this meeting. Uh, or if it's again, a walkthrough, you can just leave maybe some notes of what you and the prospect spoke about on the phone. So yourself don't forget and they can see that, oh wow, this person actually remembered some of the problems that I mentioned to them and they listed out all the details here which is great right awesome after that is done what you want to do is just click save here but you also can actually do reminders okay guys so here's the thing uh it's on my calendar what i can do is i can actually add reminders for one hour before one day before 30 minutes before 15 minutes let's just say in this case i'm actually going to do a one hour before i'm going to add notification add another one I'm gonna do 30 minutes before, and I'm gonna do one more, which is 10 minutes before. And when I click save here, what's gonna happen is Eric is gonna get an email an hour before this meeting uh, time, and an email 30 minutes before, and then an email 10 minutes before. How cool is that, right? You can actually uh, go and figure out, right here, email, email, okay? Uh, you can customize your own email, but to be honest with you, Google themselves have a very simple email and it's just saying, hey, you know, you have a meeting coming up here at this time with this person. Nothing into specific, right? But it's it's pretty much good enough for you to actually get somebody to look on their phone like, oh, snap, I have a meeting coming up. Let me go on it, right? So it's very important that you have something like that. So let me just go ahead and click save here, which then will ask me, would you like to send an invitation email to Google guests? You're gonna click send, right? And it's gonna send it to them. In this case, I'm gonna do do not send because um, I don't wanna invite Eric to this. It's just an example. So I'll just do not send and boom, it's on my calendar for 11 a.m. at 12 p.m. I'm gonna pull up my Google calendar on my phone here to show you guys an example as well. So Google calendar right there, you can see there is a uh, app. You're gonna go ahead and click on it. And on this app, it's gonna look like something like this, right? Uh, this is Sunday. You can actually make it where it shows up to a week, which is what you guys are seeing on the computer screen right now. But I, I like to just use it for day. It's too small for, for me to see the full week like the computer. But let's drag over to Wednesday, which is right here at 11, right? Where you can see at 11 on Wednesday, the green invite says, make YouTube video. So now it's there, I can even click on it on my phone and it's gonna bring up the details here. If I filled in details, it would have left it down there. It's given me the specific uh, date, giving me who's invited, even the time of when uh, reminders are gonna be sent out. And what I can actually do here down below is do yes or no. Like for example, if you're on a call with the prospect, setting up a walkthrough, what you can say, hey, Mr. Prospect, can you confirm with me that you got the invite? And what they can do is just go on it and just click yes, and that's them confirming it, okay? And that's it, that's as simple as it gets. Now, here's the thing, I wanna get into something which is a, a very, very cool tip here, which is you can actually set colors so it's easier for you to kind of know which is what. Like for example, here, you get to choose all of these color, uh, colors here. Like if you can see on my meetings here, a lot of strategy calls that I have with motivated uh, cleaning business owners who wanna know what we do, it's all blue. Everything else like internal meetings, uh, client meetings are in green. And then something that I'm personally doing right now for a few clients that I recorded a video before, it's cold calling and I leave that purple as in that's like just a task that I have to do myself, right? And then sometimes, you know, I add a little bit of pink in here or salmon color just for a little bit of touch to kind of separate this task from everything else, right? So in this case, let's just say your walkthroughs on your calendars, you're always gonna set as yellow. Click save and boom, it comes up yellow. So now when you're looking on your calendar, you see yellow, which means you have a walkthrough that day, okay? So that's what exactly the color coordinate can be used for uh, to be able to actually organize your, uh, your calendar a little bit better, especially for organization, okay? You also can drag around wherever you wanna place this as well. You even can click here, click this pencil, and then edit the date and time and then save, and it'll just re-invite if they wanna reschedule, right?
Another thing is integration. This is the last thing I want to go over with Google Calendar. I'm not here to go into every single detail of Google Calendar. I just want to go over some of the main things that as a business owner yourself, if you're doing, you know, bookings uh, via pen and paper, or you haven't really developed any type of process for you to organize your day-to-day -day life and business, Google Calendar is a great place to start. And I just wanted to make this, I guess, starter friendly video for you to kind of get introduced to this. I'm going to go over an integration that I think is really, really cool. This is like a, a level above starter, which is just Calendly. Calendly is actually a integrator of Google Calendar. So here on Calendly, if you just go to Calendly.com, you can sign up with your Google account um, and then you just go to integrations. And what happens is this allows you to integrate many other softwares at a higher level, like these apps right here. I'm not gonna go over it today. I'm just gonna go over the simplicity of it. But when you sign up for a Calendly account, they're gonna give you three free uh, event types, okay? So I actually have an additional one. I have a paid Calendly, which I believe it's $10 a month that I can create up to, I believe, uh, six or 10 of these in, uh, event types right here. But to be honest with you, as a new business owner and the starter package of the video that I'm creating, just three is more than enough, okay? So what you wanna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna start it from the beginning of creating an invite, event type. So when you click create an event type, uh, you can do one-on-one, group, collective, Robin, uh, round Robin. This is more for sales meetings, et cetera. I'm just gonna go over simple. Again, this video is for simplicity. It's one-on-one. I'm gonna click on this and it's gonna bring me to like somewhat of a template where I can actually do the event name, the location, uh, description, and this is just more of like the link if I want to add anything or else it's just going to be this, right? Walkthroughs, okay. In-person meeting, update. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to do anything in regards to location because you have to have actually uh, set an address. In this case, we don't have an address because it's different every time. Description, uh, in here, you can actually write in the description that the prospect can actually see. Um, and I can write something super short. You guys can take some time or you can go on to a technology called open AI, right? And an open AI, which is for a different video type in, uh, let me see if I can actually type in here something. For example, I'm going to type in, uh, open AI is a great AI tool that allows you to be able to ask it any questions. And in this case, as you guys can see, pretty much gives you a full description of what you can actually just copy and then put right into here. Okay, I have not created a video about OpenAI. It's actually one of our next videos I'm gonna to create to show you the power of AI and technology. But look at this, I can just take this, copy, and then throw it into here, which then when somebody schedules, which I'll go ahead and click next here. It'll bring me into the dates, the time. How do I want the integration to be? Date range. Date range means how far out when somebody's looking at your calendar using this link and they book. Um, if it's for walkthroughs, I typically say within seven days, guys. Um, duration, I'll just do with uh, an hour, right? Every walkthrough is about 45 minutes, an hour. Just do an hour. Uh, set custom hour. Look. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you can even customize your time. Once you do that, you move on to the next thing where it wants to add a time before and after event. This is more for a cushion. And typically if you have like back-to-back -back walkthroughs, obviously you can't make you know this walkthrough and go to this walkthrough right away. So what you can actually do is before event, you can set yourself a 30 minute driving to appointment cushion. Um, additional rules and for uh, availability, this is a little bit more complex, not going to go into it. This is the simple part that I want you guys to kind of get a hang of here. So have it as seven days, 60 minutes, set a custom hour, which are like uh, times and dates where you, people can schedule on your calendar using this link for a walkthrough. Have a 30 minute before you bent cushion. So if a walkthrough is at two, it's give you a uh, 30 minutes of 2.30. Uh, somebody books again at 2.30 rather than just two uh, at one for one, one for two, it's one at one, one at two thirty. So it gives you that little cushion between you get to the uh, walkthrough or if something happens, you have to push it, right? I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Um, so up here is all done. Additional options, invitee questions, name, email, please share anything that will help you. These are questions that you can actually add and edit. 
right? One liners, multiple line, re, uh, radio button check-ins, things that you can add that the prospect has to fill out. Or if you're on the phone, you can actually fill out manually for them from their name, their email, and then things, you know, you personally want to know. And, um, this is as simple as I kind of recommend it. Uh, for example, our appointment center on our team, they use this uh, to set appointments for our clients. And those are just right questions like, what is your square footage of your property? How frequently are you looking for cleaning? Things like that allows the prospect to give you information and you have it on record, right? So um, I recommend just keeping it simple for now, but you go ahead and click save. Here it is, some notifications and cancellation policy, email reminders on, email follow-up on text reminder, uh, personalized text, but this is pretty cool. Um, Google itself would actually send text reminders to the number that they actually put in up here, right? Because you can add in here, for example, phone number, apply, right? Uh, what is the best contact info? Boom, apply. There goes the question, save. Down here, when you do text reminders, email reminders, email reminders, email follow-ups, it's sending to the email that you put there, and then it also sends the text reminders uh, to the number that you have on file there as well, or whatever they fill out. And that's pretty much it. Collective payments, not really needed for walkthroughs, of course, if your walkthrough is free. Uh, Calendly confirmation page, this is just bringing them to a thank you page. You can actually set your own, but that's a little bit more complex. No need to worry about that. But that's it. You're all done. Let's actually go up here to the view live page so we can see exactly what it looks like when you send it to somebody, right? So for example, this is what my walkthroughs calendar looked like every time i send it to somebody and be like hey can you just fill this in so i can you know figure out a time to come out to you you can check out my calendar or if i'm on the, if I'm on the phone with the prospect i have this up and where i can just choose like hey mr prospect it's thursday or friday work for you friday okay great i have 1 p.m 1 30 2 p.m and 2 30 p.m right which won't work for you and I'm, I'm setting an appointment in my time zone which is eastern but you can change time zone as well um but yeah choose 2 p.m sure name, email, anything you can provide, best contact information. In this case, I forgot, but they actually asked for a number for the text uh, thing here. So you don't really have to put this, but yeah, two phone numbers and then schedule event. And what happens is after you schedule that event, it's already connected to your Google calendar because you're using the same email that you have on your Google calendar here. And it's actually just gonna pop up inside your Google calendar as an, an event invite. And instead of just going through what I did here on make a YouTube video for, uh, let's just say, you know, invite every walkthrough, I just go through this link that I have here with Calendly and I just use this to set walkthroughs, right? It's very, very, very simple with Calendly. If you have like any questions in regards to like stuff I covered in this video, it is best if you go and leave it down below in the comments. Our team will go ahead and be there to assist you and answer any questions that you have. Your team can use this. You can invite your team all to one invite and they all get emails and text reminders. And the beautiful thing is you can integrate it with Calendly. So what I just did there was got Calendly, develop a Calendly invite for walkthroughs and I can use that same link every time somebody wants to schedule a walkthrough and then boom, I can schedule a walkthrough with them, all good to go. Uh, and they get an invite, they get a text because I just showed you how to do that. And the last thing, which is color coordinating, like it allows you to be organized uh, on your calendar to know like, hey, this color is personal, this color is for business, uh, et cetera, right? So I hope, hopefully you guys found a lot of value in this video here. I know we have a Calendly video before, but it wasn't recorded in the sense of like the best quality. So the team and I just decided to come out with a brand new one, which is this one. But if you guys want to see in depth of creating an account, going over Calendly, a little bit more in depth than I'm going over in this video today. Because uh, the first video, I can tell you, we went in a lot more in depth because it was very uh, focused on creating a specific Calendly and Google account. I'll actually have our team link that video down below or just somewhere uh, in this video here for you to check out the version number one as well. Um, other than that, go ahead and like the video. If you're not using Calendly or Google Calendar and you found it to be effective after watching this video and taking massive action, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comment below as well. Other than that, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. See you in the next video.